Hey everybody, welcome to the next edition of the Taste of the Town. I'm your host, Brittany Bull, and we're here in the great village of Meridosha. That's right, that's right. At Floyd's 104. I'm here with my friends, Steve and Julie Floyd, the own owners of yeah. Floyd's 104 Grill. And it's kind of a relatively new hidden treasure that I don't think very many people know about that I want to bring to light to yeah. the viewer. So I want everyone to just experience what I just experienced, honestly, walking into this place. I've, I've learned the place like virtually through you guys, yeah. you know, and yeah. I met you at a bar one time, like one of my <laughs> favorite bars, and I've grown to know and love you. Yeah. And I'm just really happy and like proud of, I hate saying the word proud because I had nothing to do with this, <laughs> but of um, the place and what this place has done. So real quick, just to start off, uh, Floyd's 104 was originally... Originally, it's been here around 50 years and mm -hmm. the original owners uh, named it the Sandbar. Okay. So it was a Sandbar for probably 35 of those years. And then there was, it was called the R&R &R after that. And then the 104 grill and then when we bought it, we renamed it Floyd's, Floyd's 104, 104 to But to it's brand kind, of it. a, kind of a little institution down here in our area, you know, that it's been around for a long time. 50 just, years is pretty long. Yeah, we just kind of come in and did our, a little bit of our own stuff with it. So no, A little bit. Okay, yeah. it's been a lot of it. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. um, before, as you can see behind us, there, there used to be a wall there. So this was kind of like just a... I don't want to say a hole in the wall bar, but I, I mean, I love those hole in the yeah. wall bars. So it was a hole in the wall bar yeah, had a little where uh, to it. these two met. Yeah. It sounds like. Yeah. yeah. When yeah, was that? Did. No, it was, well, well it 2015 was, when we yeah, met. Yeah, it went through some changes from the sandbar to R&R &R to 104 grill. Yeah. Um, to Floyd's 104 grill. 104 grill did some of the changes. We've done some of the changes. Gotcha. We met when it was 104 grill. Okay. So. Just to, uh, yeah, obviously, just to, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, and then we, but we the big it. addition is what we're looking at now, and it's like the dining edition mm -hmm. prior to this. It just yeah. used to be yeah, a it bar, it was a bar with a band area. There was, there was some tables for overflow dining, mm -hmm. but uh, we've really tried to convert it more to a, um, to a restaurant. Has it always been yeah. a food establishment? The, in the year, early years, no. Um, but then when the previous owners we bought it from, they kind of really brought the food in strong, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we kind of brought the food in a lot stronger, and then we just kind of upped the game when, when we took it over. And have you upped the game? I mean, I must say. Yeah. Okay, real quick, one more thing about the outside. When we walked <laughs> in, it, it does look like the what we were talking about, like the roadhouse aspect of it. Yeah. And then you walk in, and it's like... yeah. A place that I am ready to dine at. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you what, yeah. it is. It's lovely in here. It's perfect, yeah. and it smells delicious. Julie has the Food Channel always on in the yeah, back, so I guess, along right. the bar. But really, people I think are coming in here for what's in front of us. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. You have put on a feast. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited about this. I'm ready to taste the town. Yeah, right. Let's start with. What's right and directly in front of me? Okay. Go ahead, Julie. Um, it's our giant pretzel. We have a homemade mu banana mustard. Banana mustard Banana dip. peppered banana mustard. Pepper. And then we have um, three fruits that we cook down as a jam. And then we have our cheese sauce that is very popular. Again, all these like sauces are homemade. homemade this made is in something house. you don't normally see in yeah. a restaurant. Okay, so right alongside of it, this thing blew my mind. <laughs> you guys have homemade Pork rinds. Yeah, we fry our own pork rinds um, and then season with a uh, rub that we use on a lot of our smoked meats. Mm -hmm. um, so they're pretty popular and they're pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. I know that people around this area go to certain festivals, especially in the Hannibal area mm -hmm. where these pork rinds are like around the door. And I'm telling you what, these kind of are like right there. On the yes. <laughs> I mean, you, you, and there's no line, you know, yeah. you have a table that you can wait. You yeah, this is, this is service at its finest yeah, if you want right. these. There you go. And when they came out, they were still popping. She goes, yeah. do you hear that? I go, yeah, what is that? Yeah. It's the pork rind it's still popping. The so. best thing since Rice Krispies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way better. It's that adult is, Rice Krispies. Exactly. Okay, so right behind it, what is that? That is our tenderloin horseshoe. We serve several different kinds of horseshoes. This one's one of our most popular ones. Um, it's uh, toast with a whole butterfly tenderloin breaded and 
french fries and the cheese. The breading stuff. around it looks like mm -hmm. scrumptious. It doesn't yeah. look like it's just like a flat yeah, patty. That's, that's I something mean, that we do. Little, we hand bread hand nearly too. everything we do. Really? We hand bread all our uh, onion rings and uh, uh, chicken strips and all that stuff is hand breaded. Hand breaded chicken um, strips is talking my language. It is yeah, really good. Yeah. And the same way with the shrimp, we yeah. hand bread those as well. Yeah. Which is right next to um, this yeah. horseshoe. What's that? It's a shrimp po' boy, and it's made with a chipotle mayo that we make in-house as well, and it comes with the homemade chips. It has our um, barbecue rub on it as well. You guys are making a lot of things homemade here, I feel we like. Are. We, <laughs> we're we pretty, are. We're, we're, we're pretty labor-intensive, yeah. and if you ask our cooks, they will agree with that. <laughs> yeah. But it's well, we just you got to set yourself apart somewhere. I could only imagine your first couple of dates, your food dates or whatever. Yeah. Like <laughs> They were pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> they have some really good... Yeah, I bet you the that, yes, we I do. bet you. I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> we'll talk about those more later. Sure. Okay, so finally our last food item before we get to the good stuff. But I mean not saying this this is the great stuff. <laughs> um what is that there? We'll let Steve talk about it. That's this his is, baby. This is our whole heifer. Like I said earlier. Our whole heifer. Yeah, we also offer a whole hog, but this is our whole heifer. Okay. Our whole heifer is uh starts with a uh, hamburger and then we put brisket on top of the hamburger bacon on top of that oh my gosh and then we either use our homemade barbecue sauce mm. or our bourbon sauce to top it with and it's on texas toast and on our menu it says a whole heifer with a little bit of pig yeah a little, little bit, bit of oil because it's because got, we yeah. have it's bacon, bacon on it because you can't have a sandwich but without bacon yeah, yeah. 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 paired it with onion rings and yeah we there's our hand battered onion rings i was about to say i'm uh, guessing and, hand battered as and well homemade <laughs> ranch that everybody drinks around this area <laughs> yeah. like do yeah. they come here and get it to go yeah i was, I was we definitely that. sold some yeah, to go i was i was wondering if i could get some to go before i go okay um, next, one of the biggest things about Floyd's 104 before, like we talked about it becoming a food centered place for the community, mm -hmm. which it is, it's a food centered place for the community. What they were saying to me before, which amazes me is the fact that on a Saturday night, you're going to walk in here and it's just going to be a nexus of all the um, farm towns or towns so around, not necessarily. We have so many people travel to come and see us on a regular basis. It's it's kind of mind-blowing you know because you put all the work out and they come in and so we got people in Springfield, Quincy, Pittsfield, Beardstown, Mount Sterling, Jacksonville, Winchester, all these towns within 50 miles of us come and see us and some of it on a regular basis so it's, it's yeah. really interesting and I like I said to you earlier that's the power of social media as it well is. and we do we use social media a lot we try to get our stuff out there lots of pictures of our food do little videos, let people know what we got going on because we have some events there all week long. You know, we do, we do a, a, a music bingo on Tuesday nights. Mm -hmm. We do a regular bingo on Wednesday nights. We have a Queen of Hearts drawing on Thursday nights. We offer bands several weekends. So, you know, we we try to give, like you say, you're in a little town of 1,200 people. It's yeah. nice to be able to give people something to do. Exactly. You know? So that's kind of what we. And it is for. something to do, and it's something to do like outside of like we said the town of 1,200. What this whole segment is for. What I've been trying to tell people is get on the road, find a neat place, take the drive. The drive was a fun drive. It was a simple, easy drive. Yeah, you saw is. a yeah. couple things along the, the way and get some food with your family. If you're, you know, not with your family, I mean, I'm, or even if you are, have some drinks at the yeah, bar, absolutely. which is what we're going to speak about next is the drinks. This is what I like to talk right. about. Okay, so in the middle, in the center of it all is the beer flight. They have an amazing draft selection. I was lucky enough to sip a couple drinks before this segment of an IPA. <laughs> um, I was telling Julie, I was like, I haven't had a drink in a while. What can I have? And she showed me an amazing selection. Like I said, three IPAs on draft blow my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what is in the flight that we have here? Um, and is okay, real quick. Our flights. Sorry, our flights. Available? Yeah. All the time. So it's not just for me? No. I'm not that special. <laughs> you are super special, but they are available. Okay. We actually carry beer flights. We do margarita flights, shake-up flights, and coffee flights. So it's a big... What are the... Co is coffee like... Are they coffee well, boozy we can do flights? Cold, or? Yeah. Oh absolutely. oh, absolutely. I don't do anything <laughs> on the bar, not boozy. Okay. So not the beer stuff. flight, what are we doing? Um, the very first one is going to be Fruly, which is at Strawberry Beer. The second one is Killian's. The third one is at California Squeeze, and it is an orange wheat beer. And the last one is Shafley White Lager. 
Okay, we have a lot of shaft leaves here. Well, what is the the fruity again, real quick? The fruity one's right here. Is the um, strawberry? Okay. It's strawberry beer. And then this one is is Killian's, like Killian's Red, you know? Okay. Um, that is California Squeeze. That's the one I wanted to try. That's what you want to try. Yes. It's I wanted the, to try. You said you guys stumbled upon yep. it. So it's an try. orange wheat. It's very orange good. wheat. I'll tell you, it is good. But yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's easy. It's and an easy beer Okay, to drink. I am going to say something else that comes from like a bartender and a beer drinker. Your mm -hmm. lines are like clean and crisp. Like mm -hmm. I can, it is, yeah. you have some crisp yeah. Yeah. lines. And yeah. the beer is crisp and cold. It's good. It's good if you want, if, you, if you're a draft beer drinker, this yeah. is good. Okay, so real quick, very or first, not so quick. Very first one is a blueberry mojito. And these are very popular because they are so good. They're very refreshing. Um, then the second one is well, a real quick. I was gonna say not so quick because there's time and effort. There as is a bartender. I am yeah. gonna say this. There is time and effort put into these yeah. drinks. Absolutely. These are not drinks that you see normally. No, you muddle the mints, you muddle the blueberries, and you muddle. These are blackberries and raspberries. We muddle all those. We have those in house. And, and then and we use real lime juice. We use real lemon juice. We don't use a sour mix for anything. So everything is real. Everything's real. Man, I'm not used to that. <laughs> no, there, you won't find a sour mix in this building. And I if love you do, that. somebody brought it, and it wasn't me. Um, okay. What's your favorite? Is, I like the blueberry mojito. It's always classic for me. It's one of those. What's it's your so, favorite? I don't drink that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all yes, good. I'm a whiskey beer drinker, but I do like the mojitos. Speaking of which, the whiskey drinker. And margaritas. What was the whiskey that we were trying that you were? We tried a Shanky's Whip. It's so Irish we got, whiskey. It's we'll get good. a little picture of this. Shanky's yeah. Whip. It looks like something that will give you a whip. But <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it, it tastes is, like it will, too. It tastes like a cookie. It's I was so surprised. good. It's so like good. You did a real, yeah. Yeah, we've got a, tr we got a pretty tremendous uh, whiskey bourbon. We do. Vodka gin selection i mean it's it comes julie it comes from julie's background in the bar business where she wants the stuff that people enjoy nice. well you know? julie yeah. is so good at like getting you to try new things yeah. i love this about you like i i heard the word whiskey i'm like shut it off no way <laughs> and you're no, very good at that you do it. have a background like mm -hmm. he said you both have backgrounds in mm -hmm. the restaurant industry ish bar and you came together and you made a baby. Yep. Made a baby. <laughs> this is a great and this baby. Is, woo, this is one big baby, and it is it is, it is a beautiful baby. And for all my family, I want to clarify, she's talking about the bar. The bar. <laughs> there is no that baby. Was, <laughs> that was my pineapple express baby. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, yeah, my no family baby. takes stuff literally. So okay, it's no, okay. it's the no, biggest, I'm best bar baby that, that is. I is. hope everyone comes to enjoy. Thank you very much. All right, so that's going to do it here for the Floyd's 104 Grill here in Meridosha. We're going to sign off with these, their version of the lunchbox. It's called the Fruly Box. We made sure to get Randy one. And cheers to you guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I've been doing them a long time. <laughs> Mmm.